Tis the season of misplaced priorities, in the midst of rising inflation, labor, shortage, labor shortages, open borders, and foreign policy blunders. My colleagues seem to think that Islamophobia is what Americans care about. Well, I'd rather talk about something that Americans actually care about, gassing up their cars and keeping the heat on. In November, President Biden said, quote, the reason Americans are facing high gas prices is because oil producing countries and large companies have not ramped up the supply of oil quickly enough to meet the demand, and the smaller supply means a higher price. Well, that's true, but he's not making the point that he thinks he is. Yeah, there's a lack of production, but the question is why? Why is the world's number one oil and gas producer, the United States, not been able to ramp up production? And the answer is actually simple, because Joe Biden has made it a priority to kill the American energy industry. President Biden canceled the Keystone Pipeline, outlawed new oil and gas leases on federal lands and waters, and has threatened even more burdensome regulations that put a freezing effect on any kind of new production that even Biden himself recognizes is needed. And of course, most recently, with the help of even my colleagues from Texas on the Democrat side, they managed to pass an unprecedented tax on natural gas through the House as part of their socialist spending package. And it gets more interesting. In a letter to Speaker Pelosi, seven Texas Democrats put the natural gas tax in stark terms, saying this tax will, quote, cost thousands of jobs, stifle economic recovery, increase energy costs for all Americans, strengthen our adversaries, and ultimately impede the transition to a lower carbon future. Very strong and very true words from my Democrat colleagues, but guess what? They voted for it anyways. And now Democrats are scrambling because they know Americans are starting to feel the pain of their policies. It's gotten so bad that Democrats are celebrating a two-cent decline in gas prices. Oh, thank you, Joe Biden, the two-cent decline. It would be funny if it weren't so serious. It would be funny if it weren't so serious that the energy secretary doesn't even know that their plan to release from the, from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve was only about two days' worth of oil. There's nothing funny about this. And the administration responds by telling people to put on a sweater and buy an electric vehicle. I yield back.